Vasudaya, Nama Dharmaya, Nama Sangaya, Nama Gurube, Nama Buddhaya, Nama Dharmaya, Nama Sangaya, Nama Gurube, Nama Buddhaya, Nama Dharmaya, Nama Sangaya. Thank you for listening today. I'd like to say a few words about uh, the current situation in the United States and um, hope to bring some clarity and peace to the situation. In Buddha Dharma, we're used to dealing with uh, kings and emperors and presidents also. The Buddha, of course, was born a prince and continued to interact with kings in India at the time, and princes, and warriors, and uh, occasionally had to uh, take decisive action to uh, resolve disputes between warring tribes. So uh, this is familiar territory for Buddhists to, to be in the midst of things. Many people have asked me, uh, what kind of practice should we be doing? Uh, the best practice is the one you're already doing, but uh, in addition to that, to speak up. One reason uh, we call our temple uh, part of Lions Road Dharma Center is that I want people to speak up and speak the truth. So the best thing for me is to imagine that I'm able to speak Dharma, speak the truth to uh, people in political power, uh, people that hold uh, authority, uh, peace officers and army personnel and political personnel and our present king or president as you will. So uh, we, we're here to show that uh, and Dharma, we're here to show the truth that uh, all beings uh, want to be free and happy, that they share the same uh, desire to be free of pain and to be happy and to be awake and I would also say to help others. So the Dharma teaching that we give uh, to anybody, uh, whether they're friends or foes or uh, people in authority or people not in authority, those with guns, those without guns, is still to give the same Dharma teaching. So what I want to emphasize in uh, my short presentation is that uh, we're not uh, giving one Dharma teaching to one group of people and another Dharma teaching to another group of people. So uh, we're using skillful means to speak in a way that uh, people can understand what we're saying and to use the languages of the time so people can understand what we're saying. But uh, an essential aspect of Dharma is uh, we say the same thing to everybody. In samsara or the confused uh, wheel of birth and death and um, delusion, uh, we actually say different things to different people. We have one truth for ourselves, one law for ourselves, one law for other people. So a uh, fractured society, a samsaric society, uh, has different rules, different privileges for different people. And we see the result in the suffering that comes from that. So uh, there's not a special practice uh, in times of conflict, a special practice uh, for samsara, the special practice is always uh, practicing and realizing the truth. So uh, I encourage people who want to uh, know a little bit more about this is to read up on the ethical dimension of Dharma. There's a lot written even in the last 10 years by contemporary Western practitioners uh, in the peace movement. Um, two exemplars of uh, peaceful, uh, nonviolent, um, but strong activity, of course, are the Dalai Lama and uh, the Zen Master Thich Nhat Hanh. So these are uh, good contemporary resources, but also reading the life of the Buddha, uh, that he was involved with his community, even though uh, he was a monastic. They didn't live very far from town. They interacted with people in town, and uh, he interacted in an ethical way with people, and uh, didn't vary, didn't say, well, there's one truth for kings 
and there's another truth for commoners, there's one truth for wealthy, and there's another truth for people in poverty. Uh, it's the same truth. So uh, the reference to that I'd like to direct people to is by um, an early uh, second century uh, practitioner and philosopher, Nagarjuna, who wrote a very famous poem. Sometimes it's translated as a letter to a friend or a letter to a king. So if we were to write uh, a letter or give a Dharma talk to uh, people in authority that uh, we feel uh, need uh, love and compassion and insight, uh, what would it be? And uh, that would be a good practice. Uh, I'd be very interested if people wanted to uh, email their ideas, uh, what their letter would be. Um, I think our address was still info at Lions Road Dharma Center. Um, and uh, if you have uh, a letter to a king that you think would be useful, um, maybe we could use that and, and post that also. So uh, in Dharma, we're very used to speaking truth for power. Um, and uh, speaking up, though, is, is the operational um, thing to do at the time. We know how to sit silently. We know how to sit quietly when we have to. But in Dharma, we also know when to speak up. And we know also when to take direct action. Uh, my teacher uh, uh, was very action-oriented, even though he was a contemplative and a scholar. So uh, he said, view and meditation result in correct action, which sees the situation correctly and sees the people correctly and understands what the skillful means are. But once again, I want to uh, advocate and emphasize that Making the lion soar means uh, we're telling the truth that is the same for everyone, that we don't have uh, different uh, ways to help others, we don't have different ways to heal others that are based on status or money or power. Um, all human beings and all beings uh, actually need the same uh, liberation and uh, the same teachings. And uh, we truly want all beings to come to fruition and experience uh, great awakening and great bliss. So thank you for uh, listening to these few words. Um, if you feel compelled to write something and send it in, um, uh, we'd be happy to read it and maybe we can pass it on. Oh, thank you.